assalam o alaikum to all students welcome to my class today we are doing a topic on words opposites before you start your work you have to write the day and date so what is the day today today is monday how will you write your m please look closely you will draw these two lines i hope you can see the board m and join them from here m o n m m and d should be of same length okay and now we will write d a y day monday m o n m d a y day monday m o n m d a y day monday now when we are done with our day we will write the date today is 30 30 30 and it's in november so joining two lines like this n o v n a year is 2020 2020 right we are done with the date and uh, our topic for today is words opposites this has already been written on your book so you do not need to write it these are just headings okay words and opposites opposites right so let's just quickly finish writing this and then we'll start our work Until then, what are words opposites? Um, words are just simple words, meaning it could be any word. It could be a cat, it could be a dog, it could be a girl or a boy. Or but you know these are just words. But what are words and their opposites? Meaning, I need to have some kind of words over here, some kind of words, some unusual words over here that have opposites. Like if I have. If I had a word boy, what is the opposite of boy? Girl, right? Girl is an opposite of boy, right? So we are going to have some unusual words over here. Like our first word is D A Y day. Our first word is D A Y day. Now this is already written over here. Words are already been given to you in your workbook. You just have to write the opposites with me, okay? Do not write this over here. Do not write these words. Day is already given. D A Y day. And the next word is I N in. I N in. I N in. The next word is hot. H U H O T hot. H O T hot. Now day means subha, in means under, hot means garam, and U P up. U P up means upper. I'm telling you this in Urdu so you can understand it better. Okay, you know what the word means, so you can tell me the opposite also. Big. The next word is big. B I G big. Big means bada. B. I hope you can see the board clearly. B I G big. Now the next word is under. U N un D E R D. U N un D E R D under. You see, all of the words are starting from small letters. So be careful while writing over there. Your work as uh, Alphabet should be the first. Alphabet should be small. We are not writing a sentence. Only in sentences, your first letter is capital. Otherwise, all of them are small. Under. Under means niche. Now let's uh, write the opposites. Let me zoom in for you a little bit. Now. This is much better, right? You can uh, understand and see the board clearly. Now, let's write. What is the opposite of day? Din, rat, 
day, night. N I G H T night. N I G H T night. You see N I G H T night over here. G and H or simply G over here is silent. G is silent over there, meaning it has no sound. Night, night, night. It has a slight sound of H but no sound of G. N I G H T night. Our other word is in, under, bahir, in, out. O U T out. O U T out. O U T out. All right. What is our next word? Our next word is hot, garam, thanda, hot, cold, c k o l d, c o l d cold, c o l d cold. All right. Next word is up. यानी ऊपर, ऊपर, नीचे, up, down, d o w n, down, d o w n, down. बेटा, you have to use this w, not the other one. All right? And your n should be properly turned like this. Look, there's no uh, tail over here. You can make a tail for d. You can make a tail for U, but don't make it, uh, you know, the tail for H or N, right? Our next word was big, bada, chota. So big, small, sma, S, M, sma, A double L, all, A double L, all. Look, all of my L have no tail. See, I did not write any tail for, uh, I, did, I do not have any tail for the L. Don't write a uh, tail for the L, okay? It's simple. Your one, your alif and your L should be the same. My next word is under. Let me just zoom it out a little bit so you can, you know. Yes, under. Now, under ka matlab hota hai, niche. Alright, and uh, niche meaning upar. Over, under and over. You have already done this in your um, concept as well, in your previous months. O, V, E, K and dash look at my E, okay? R, your R should properly turn like this. O, V, E, R, over. Now this is your work for today and I hope you understand it better. Do revise this work at home and you have to do the same words in your homework. Let me see. Yes, use the same words in your homework as well. Just, uh, you know, write, uh, you have to change the date. Meaning, Tuesday will come over here. And uh, first, December 2020 will come over here in your homework. The words will remain the same. And you will match the columns to join opposite words. Page number 30 and page number 32. You have to do this by yourself. You just have to match them and color them beautifully. And I will do the reinforcement in my next Zoom class. Allah Hafiz. Thank you.